There was a great Oaxacan restaurant in Ballard, a suburb of Seattle. Really good. When I went to see the play Masterclass with Zoe Caldwell and Audra McDonald, who was a star ascendant, as she currently is, even at this age, still rising, still rising from the West. She was out that night. She was the, the, the breakout star in one of her many breakout roles. This was one of them. And so I was going to ask for a refund because if the person whose build as being in the cast isn't in, you can get a refund from the box office and come another night. And it was probably two minutes before they closed the front of house. And in came, I could hear it in the lobby, a sense of hush and heels on tile. And I could feel it in that kind of kinesthetic way, a kind of entourage. It was Cher with at least one person accompanying her, maybe a couple, maybe, a, I don't know, a, a handler or assistant of some kind. And I thought, I'm totally going to see this show, even with Audra McDonald out, because Cher's there. And I ended up sitting a row or two away from her, didn't say a word to her, but I was like, yeah. In this case, I was maybe trying something that wasn't going to work. A chic place called The Whiskey, which was a bar in the Paramount Hotel, and it was the hot place to go, and I had been with some friends, and they had left, and I think I was paying the tab, when in comes Norm MacDonald with his entourage of maybe two. I think someone was trying to do work with him. And I thought, he just got sat, which is what sometimes people will say in food service, to be sat as opposed to seated. He just got sat next to me, I'm totally going to have another beer. So I did. Kind of kept looking over because he was the hot ticket at the time. He was also having a breakout. Not quite the meteoric rise Audra McDonald had, but he was a new SNL cast member and I definitely knew who he was. This was also in the era of people not carrying cell phones. So I went to go check my messages on the other side of the lobby to pay phones, not even a bank of phones. And so I was checking my messages and then he came to check his messages and we were this close. I didn't have anything to say to him, but yet I still sat at the table after checking my messages and after he checked his messages because I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. It was about as fruitful as the time that I stayed at the theater to see Cher to be an aisle seat or a, you know, one row behind, I don't even remember the formation. I just remember the hush when she came to the lobby. And I remember the noise when Norm MacDonald breezed in to the whiskey, pretty much undetected, except by young bravado filled me who didn't yet have enough bravado to say, I think you're kind of funny and charming.